Hello conference, I'm Rosa Sali, the Vice President of Diversity and Advocacy at the Student Association at Strathclyde, an international student officer in New Scotland and original Glasgow girl. At Strathclyde University, we have secured three scholarships for asylum-seeking students. This is a great life-changing opportunity for these students and a huge win for Student Association. Strathclyde is the first university in all of Scotland to provide this opportunity and we hope others will follow and work locally to make a difference to society. Under Article 26 of the UN Convention of Human Rights, every person has a right to education. As a student association, we believe that, uh, that access to university should be based on merit and not financial circumstances. And it is this belief that drove me to make change at Strathclyde. Today I want to share my experiences so that others can take action at their own institution and make a change across the UK. Last year, we set out to break down barriers for asylum seekers to have equal access to higher education. We worked with the Scottish Refugee Council, NUS Scotland and our own university to develop a scheme that would help secure equality for asylum seekers. It took a lot of hard work and a lot of convincing, but we eventually secured the new scholarship scheme, which was launched for this academic year. If I had to suggest three things that you should think about if you are interested in pursuing a Salem Seeker Scholarship at your own institution, they would be. First, do your research. Immigration policy is a complex area and don't be surprised if you do get conflicting information from different people or organizations. With your lots of research, you can make sure you have the evidence to back your case up. Number two, take it to the highest senior level of staff that you can and work your way down. This way you can use a wide range of expertise. Universities want to recruit the brightest and the best. By breaking down barriers for asylum seekers, we are making sure that talent is not wasted but embraced. Number three is publicity. This is very important. Make sure you ensure that university is aware of the positive publicity available as a result of helping these students and use that as a tool to achieve your aims. What we should always remember is that even though successfully gaining scholarship is really huge step forward, the root of the issue is immigration policy and that can only be changed at UK government level at Westminster. Make sure you don't lose the sight of importance, the continue of lobbying politicians and achieving for equal access to education. I want to end with a quote from Nelson Mandela. He said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. It is this spirit that we continue to work for equal access in education and in society. If you want to find out more about the scholarship scheme at Strathclyde or my experience, please get in touch with me via usavpda at strath.ac.uk. Have a great conference and I hope to hear from you very soon. Thank you.